time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to blank. Hey! What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live, Monday, January 29th. Hope all is well. S&P up 13, NASDAQ up 92, Russell up 15, Dow up 35, gold and silver green, notes and bonds green, 10-year yield down to 4.093, oil down 1.5%, natty gas down 5%, the grains in the red, Bitcoin up 2%, euro in the pound a little bit red. VIX at 13.73, little bounce here over the last 30 minutes or so. Bottomed out at about 13.6, currently at 13.73. S&P trying to get back up to the all-time high of 49.06, currently at 49.04. Pretty, pretty, uh skimpy premiums. I'm not going to be doing my normal power hour. Premiums are just too low. So what I have done today is where's my trade steward? There we go. All right. So what I've got going is AM ratio uh, hit. Well, I got 44%. I was uh, making room for some other things. Uh, DKS DKS hit 40%. Uh, one of my quiet lunch tranches took off at 24%. Another one at 26%. Uh, I've got a 1DTE iron condor that's up 17%. I actually, I meant to do more, so I layered in a little bit later. That one's up just a little bit. And then another quiet lunch tranche I'm currently still in, up 23%. So those are my bots. So total on the bots today up about 9,200. Booked another little over a thousand on a small NTT trade. I didn't do a lot of NTT today just because I, right when I was getting ready to, I had some bots getting ready to fire. So I just let those go instead. Um, and so I did the one that's all closed out, hit 20, 40, and 60%. And then I've got one left. That I've hit 20% on close to half and holding on to uh, still three contracts there. And then just recently here, I sold some puts. Sold some puts just in anticipation of a move back up to the all time high, a few points higher here. I'll close half of these out at 50%. If we get to all time highs, that 4906 area that should hit or be close to it, I guess. So that's my day. So I, uh, the only thing I'm going to do is I might sell a straddle if we push up closer to the expected move. Otherwise, I'm just going to roll with my current positions. What say you, Chadwick? I had to unmute myself there. Uh, yeah, so I've only done two trades today, which honestly, since I've been doing zero DTE iron condors, I, I don't ever remember doing just two. Um, so I have my first one this morning. I entered at uh, 9, 12 cent, uh, central time, and I'm out of 80% of that with one contract left. And then my um, I did a, a, let's see, a lunchtime, and that was right at 11.30. And I'm out of 40% of that. So I'm up about four grand for the day on just two trades. So I mean, take what it gives you. 
Yeah. So I, mean, I would love to get a, a power hour in, but I may not. I mean, I would have to get rid of my uh, 4905 short strike to, to do a 4905 straddle. It looks like that's the only thing that would be in play for me right now. couple other positions i've been watching my short premium in mes still not to a point where i need to roll up my puts yet in either of my mes's or my qqq spx still got a, i took off a duck today for beak profit and then um still got a couple of time flies one of them's basically at break even one's down a little bit uh, i did put on a one two double calendar earlier today that one's up about 3%, still have a 5.7 and a 6.7 on from Friday, and those are both up about 8 to 10%. So there's probably not going to be a lot of action from me during power hour as far as new positions here. Like I said, if we push up towards all-time highs, which is – a little bit below that expected move line, I will uh, I'll potentially sell a straddle maybe around tranche two time, tranche three. See if it gets there. Just need a four or five point move lower here just to... I may, if I, if I can close out my 4905-4890... I got three contracts left. I may just, if I can get a little down move, my limits at 220 would be 60%. I may just close all three, all three of those contracts out. Just be done with it. But I, you just, it's not looking like we want to get more than a couple of red bars in a row. No, we are pushing higher. I also uh, bought some futures this morning, still in a couple. So I got, uh, so actually I was, I was, I went short, uh, earlier in the day, look, went over, well, what I did. So I, I don't think I've ever mentioned this, but sometimes what I'll do is like, you know, we had that, we had that erroneous spike in VIX this morning. That was just kind of a misprint. And anytime I see something that just doesn't quite add up, I like to get short futures, <laughs> um, and it ended up just being a misprint. So I, I scratched that, got out. You can see that on my chart here. And then I got long based on price kind of flushing below a recent low and then bouncing. That's part of my price action I'll, I'll be talking about in that course. And so I, I rode that up. Uh, I came down. I got stopped out of my remaining piece to the tick, unfortunately. And then I reloaded and I've still got four ES futures. So I'm up about... I don't know, 23, 2400 on those right now. So I've also got a, uh, an order to close out some of those. If we hit, get up closer to that all time high or just below that expected move line of the day. Yeah, I don't think we're, we were, I don't think we were even at seven for the straddle, Kelvin. We were less than seven, so I'm not interested. Not interested in the normal power hour. Elliot, did you get your, did your broker let you in yet? Or is it still playing games with you? That's frustrating. 
Sounds like Schwab and Tasty had issues today. There it goes. New all-time highs, boys and girls. Hmm. Wow. It's built on 50% uh, of my JSPs. And just got stopped out of something. Look at that move. That's just, I just, that's just what I saw coming. I mean. Yep. Got stopped out of my, got stopped out of my uh, lunchtime. Yeah. Well, I mean, let's get some calls and let's get some. Let's get some calls, some value here. Wow, look at that. So I got stopped out of my remaining quiet lunch tranche. Got stopped out of my last NTT, but I do have my, uh, still have half my puts. Look at that. Oh man. I uh find me. I had one contract left. <laughs> if you're gonna believe this. I had one contract left that I didn't have a stop on. So my uh AMI or Condor, I had one left. I ended up getting filled at six bucks because <laughs> I forgot to put the OCO in for it. Good thing it was only one contract. Looks like my one DTE is still alive, but went from nice and green earlier to a little bit red. Is uh, anybody else's trade steward not functioning? Mine just went out. Page isn't loading. Ooh, the U.S. Treasury. Yeah, Benji, that's why I keep those on. How about that? That's that's a new thing. No, nope, trade steward's still down. Oh, looks like it's back up. Yeah, I mean, if it's going to push like this. Let's just do it a couple more times, get those longs really valuable. Yeah, my long calls are still worthless. My 55s were getting, they were at about five cents a minute ago, but. <clears throat> I've got some at 30 cents right now, 35 cents. They were at about 60. Now it's coming, it's coming back down, so. It looks like my uh, yeah, my original one DTE trade still still alive, but 
a little bit into the red. Was up about 30 plus percent earlier. I'll pull back. Got out of some futures. I've got one ES long left. I think I'm going to just let that ride. Let these short puts ride. Uh, Neil, see if you have premiums in one DTE for your tranches and close them by 315. This happens during FOMC. Okay, I'll check that out. I've got an order to close the rest of my puts at a buck. It's already down to a buck twenty-five. Try to squeeze a little bit more out of those. This market just wants to just love its new all-time highs over and over. Just pushing through, pushing through. You get a little premium juiced in though. Still might sell a straddle. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I, I, I saw that. I saw I was, if we could see some consolidation here, I'll get in on one of those, but I want to make sure it's done pushing here. Like right now, I'd be looking at the 49.20, 49.15, but I'm going to wait and see what this bar does. There we go. Yeah, just, I mean, at this point, I just hope it just keeps going because I'm not in anything. I just got calls on. I just have my calls. I've got, oh, I've got some calls worth five cents now. No, nope, now there's zero. <laughs> it's going to have to push really hard for me to get any value out of those calls and quickly. I got, I got 20 calls on and some are at 40 cents, some are at five. I'll put an order to sell some of these at 10 cents if they get up there. Big volume spike, too. Yeah, it did. Look at that volume spike. About twice as big as the first bar, which is usually the biggest of the day. Mm-hmm. Well, upside volume runner for Power Hour? Yeah.
Still hovering around So a tranche two straddle, actually five wide. Yeah, I saw that. And pushing back up. I jumped in the um the uh forty nine twenty, forty nine fifteen. Yeah, that's what I was looking at as well. Yep, I'm going to do a five wide for tranche two, 20s and 15s. Filled at 610. I'm going to scale out though. This is not my normal power hour. This is just more of a discretionary. We use the old four dollar trailing stop, old school style. Oh yeah. I like it.
There we go. Trying to get it towards 20. My puts are selling for 50 cents. I've got an order at 35 cents to close those. Got some calls that are worth almost a buck. There was my remaining one DTE got stopped. All right, so between 15 and 20 would do good. I'll consider a tranche three. We are now in uh, up day territory. So maybe I'll just turn on my up day tranche three. There goes my puts. Got got bought out at thirty five cents. Sold them at four. Yeah, so I'm gonna turn on my tranche three update bot and just let it go if it uh, if it still qualifies by the time that comes around. Here in about six minutes. U.S. dollars dropping, stocks popping. Wow, look at this thing. Still have one ES future left. <laughs> I'm up about 4,400 on those now. Is guess I would have been better off just staying out of power hour. My calls are starting to. So my uh, 2015 tranche that I went in at is now trading at 775. My stops at 955. So the U.S. Treasury comes out and says, well, we're still going into a lot of debt, just not as much debt as we expected to. The market took off. Guess you got to start somewhere. I 
I just sold 12 calls for 10 cents. Michael sold eight for three bucks and 80 cents. Nice. Nice. By the way, if you're new here, this is not really a normal day. Uh, and if you wanted to kind of see what, what a typical plan is, in the trade plans channel is where I post my trade plan uh, that I'll do each month. And I'll be kind of working through a few things and I'll be posting my trade plan for February here in the next couple of days. Yeah, VIX popping as well. So my tranche three for an update will fire here in a couple of minutes. So that's two to one puts the calls. I mean, there's 35 minutes left. Still a lot of time. Uh, yeah, I mean, there is a ton of time. I have 49.20, 49.15. It's currently trading at eight bucks. Stops at 9.55. Still got a tiny bit of room. But uh, yeah, mine's eight bucks and 9.55 is my stop. I got calls worth two bucks now. All right, tranche three coming in, filled at five bucks. And that is on the 20 puts, 30 calls. Two to one puts to calls. Getting close to my stop on tranche, on the first tranche I did, which was around tranche two time. Yeah, good point, E. Allison. Let me check that out. I would assume that is in roll up territory now. Stopped on that uh, 2015 tranche I did. Yep, I was stopped out at 
So the one EMES has 46 days. So I'm getting close to the point where I'm going to be looking to take that off. So I'm going to, I'm going to just hold on to that one. The one that's got 81 days, I'm going to roll the puts up on. Up to 28. My 57 DT double calendar is not minding this. It's up 15% now. The one two from earlier today is down a little bit. My six seven is still green. So for so much for a nice calm grindy uh Monday. Yeah. So all I have left is my trunch three up day on the 20 puts, 30 calls. Still pretty centered. Pushed up to 49.29, back down to 25. Two hundred eighty two million to the buy side is the early indication. Howdy, do you know why your stops didn't work? Do you was it were they input incorrectly or So Chad, are you in anything? 
No, <clears throat> not anything at all. Just because my power hour got stopped. I'm my only power hour that I've entered. Yeah, good good point. Up for dollar. So, howdy, are you on here? You got to be careful if your strikes get too far out of the money. If there's zero bid, your stops most likely will not fire, or your slippage will be pretty bad. All right, I guess I'll put an order in to close my last future. Actually, I'm just going to close it out here. It's a little over 4,600 on those. That was nice. That helped for a couple of those that I got stopped on. So my tranche three is pretty well centered. We could just chop from here. That'd be good. Chad, did that last one put you in the red or are you still green for the day? Uh, let me look. I'm still green, but barely. Only three trades. So I'm at plus 265, plus 265. Um, so I still have some calls open, but trying to decide whether to close them out or maybe it might be, it might be done running. Feels that way. Yeah, kind of does. Close these calls. <laughs> touche jake touche i got 20 cents for those 49 40s your car went off center was the price action that kept you out of it um, Naughty Dog, um, there just wasn't really another, there really wasn't another, I mean, maybe I could have gotten in another straddle, but price pushing, I was just kind of, I just, I just really didn't see another one. In, what about now? Now that it's starting to consolidate. Yeah, too late? I mean, now maybe the 49.30, you see that. Straddle. Check that out because that could be one. I could let's see 30, 20 wide. Huh. 
you know, as this I think he was here. saying since it since you had one yeah. on and it pushed to the edge of your other one. It was just it was just pushing too hard. You didn't want to get in, is that correct? Right. Yeah, it was just pushing too hard and and right now the yeah, the forty nine that straddle doesn't look very good either. Your yeah, limit order to close just... at 10 cents, Elliot? Not good. Hmm. Did you try to bump it up to say 20 cents to see if it worked? Must be a Schwab thing. Yeah, I think I'm just going to set the rest of the day out. Yeah, I don't know. I think the uh, 10 cent minimum is, I think that's a TD thing. So I don't know if Schwab has some other, I can't, I don't know. That doesn't make any sense why they wouldn't allow that, but you may want to ask them what the what's going on there. Although it sounds like with the uh, different issues today, it may just be a An issue for the day. I don't know. Did you have? Did you try that before? Did you have a ten cent order? Any other time that got rejected? Yeah, Lasoza, anytime there's a quick kind of out of the blue move like this, it's gonna cause some slippage. That's just part of the part of the game, unfortunately. But hey, you're still green for the day. Yeah, I mean I was up four grand and now I'm up nine hundred and fifteen bucks. So after that power hour trade. And it was just one trade that did it to me. $3,300 loss. Still 282 million to the buy side. Chad, uh, Ken was wondering why were you looking at the 4930s uh, when it was right at 4925? That was closer. Uh, it wasn't a second ago. It's come down since then. That's when I was first looking at it, it was the 4930s or 4920s. 4930s? Or 4930s. Yeah, it's come down like what it's got this working on a second red bar since I was looking at it. Yeah. 
Now it would be the 4925s. Back down to 22. Yeah, still not, still don't like it. Tomorrow is Tuesday. We got uh, consumer confidence and jolts 30 minutes after the bell. Tomorrow for the live stream, Chad will be streaming for the Mighty 90 Runners in the morning. Then we'll be back for power hour. Nice theta junkie. Yeah, Chad. So what's the latest that you like to enter in power hour? Like 30 minutes? Um, till? Yeah, usually 30 minutes till you get get under 30 and it's. I mean, it just kind of depends what else I have going on, but. There's nothing that really sat up good. I checked those 4930, checked 4925 straddle. Didn't like it. A little contraction in VIX since it started consolidating back down to 13.67. need to hold between 20 and 25 or 20 and 30. Still 282 million to the buy side. Final number in five minutes. Ooh, coming down now. It's kind of where I wish it would have been before.
back down to my 20 strike. That tranche two that got stopped, or that was more of a discretionary tranche, I guess, but I didn't realize that would have probably qualified up over a half percent, so it would have been an up day one. I didn't realize it, where we were until I was ready for the tranche three one, but I'm not sure if that one would have got stopped out or not. Did anybody do it an up day tranche two by chance? Still in? Yeah, nice. That was a mistake on my part. Final market on close and balance number here in a couple minutes. VIX is really coming down now. Almost down to lows of day. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering, is this gonna, market going to finish the last 10 minutes up? Down. All right, so MOC coming out here in about a minute. If it's over three billion to the buy side, I'll buy. If it's over three billion to the sell side, I will sell. One hundred and seventy million buy sides. So nothing. <clears throat> All right, let's get a little bump right to the center so I can pin this baby. Ten minutes to go. My six sevens up about six percent, my five sevens up about twelve, so I want at least twenty before I would take any off. VIX down to lows of day. Yeah, VIX really coming down. All the excitement out of the way, it's contracting.
just realized I think my update tranche three should be trailing, which I have not been. Yeah, it is a trailing stop. That 40%, I need to set it to two. I did not do that either. Let's go for a pin. Let's get a little pin the end of TN to end the day. That looks a little better. I just had to click off to get back on here. I was just looking at my wrist graph thinking, man, there's a lot of premium left. That's more like it. Yeah. Sometimes it does. Like it looks like there's more than what there is. Yeah. I had to sometimes it, especially, or sometimes it looks all like jagged. You got to click. I, I just click off of it and click back on and it kind of updates. Ah, gotcha. A little over five minutes to go. Tranche three trading for a buck. My stop has been reduced down to two dollars. Little bounce. Little bounce into the close. As strong as it is, you would think that's what it would do. Is you know, with that push it's had up. There we go. Right into center. Now just settle. Elliot, are you on this tranche three with me? Anybody? Bueller? Nice. So a pin would be worth four thousand one twenty. So my bots after those stopouts happened, I'm still up about three grand on my bots, another thousand on my NTT, and then another four thousand on the future. So still a decent green day for me. Was was a lot better.
Two minutes to go. We don't need a new high of day. That's what we don't need. I mean, it is trading at 16, 10 cents. The smart thing to do would probably be to take this off here. Set my profit target to 10 cents, see if it fills. $0.35. Cents. Set it at 10. Huh. I don't know. I get filled at 30 and 35 cents for some reason. Interesting. All right. 30 seconds till the bell. I'm out. Uh, chat will be streaming live in the morning tomorrow. And then we'll be back for power hour. Give it a, I'm going to stay on for a second. Let's just see where this thing closes out. It's creeping up to new highs of day. See if I was good on getting out or if I should have held for the pin. Five seconds. There she blows. 49, 27.9. All right, all have a good night. Take care. Chat with you soon.